Hello, I'm Reverend Jules Christian, chaplain with Volunteers of America, Chesapeake and the Carolinas. And I'm here today with Charles and Sandra Wilson, who are constituent ministers with Volunteers of America, Chesapeake and the Carolinas. Charles and Sandra, first of all, thank you so much for being here today. And could you tell everyone a little about yourself? Well, I retired from the federal government. I was in, I've been in ministry for a few years now. But while I was at HUD, I worked for Housing and Urban Development, but while I was there, I was introduced to the Salvation Army. Uh, I was responsible for a property uh, that was managed by Captain Lois Simler. So I kind of got familiar with the Salvation Army and VOA as an outgrowth of that. And also I was responsible for something called Resident Initiatives, which was a program that dealt with the needs of the residents specifically. So that kind of made me just kind of uh, want to help the residents. Yes, that's wonderful. And you're also a minister, correct? I am a minister. I've been in ministry for a few years now. And um, we're, we'll be pursuing further callings under VOA. Amen. And then, Sandra, what about you? I um, also worked for the federal government. I worked for the Social Security Administration. Um, I was a manager there, and I retired as a manager at, uh, from Social Security. I also sell real estate. And I primarily work with first-time home buyers because it's a joy for me and it's so fulfilling to bring a buyer who thought they may not have been able to be a homeowner into their home where they become a homeowner. And to witness that and to be a part of that has just been so rewarding for me. I do serve other than first-time home buyers. It's, yes, it's, and, and also I know that you have a heart for ministry as well. Yes, um, I had served for at my local church for many years. Um, in fact, we have been in church most of our life. Mm -hmm. And I served with him on the diaconate ministry for over 25 years yes. prior to him accepting his call into ministry. Wow, such, such a rich history of serving the community in so many different ways. So Charles and Sandra, you joined Volunteers of America ministry team and tell us a little bit about um, the things that you have done and are doing here with VOACC. Well, I, go ahead. Uh, we became a, vol a part of Volunteers of America. We were invited to the 2018 Spiritual Colloquium by a friend of ours. And um, we liked what we heard. We didn't know, I didn't know that there was an organization that offered all of those services. Right. And I am by nature and spirit a, a helper. I like to serve. That is my area of giftedness. So um, I just felt a calling to be a part of it. Amen. And actually the name Sandra means helper of mankind. So you are doing what your name says. Charles, what about you? Tell us a little more about what you do now. Well, we were involved with the spiritual colloquium as far as the planning of it once we got involved. And after, so we did that for a few years, but we also did a prayer line during COVID mm -hmm. uh, with Mona Magruder and some of the group homes that she was responsible for. So we did that for a while. And we were also involved with a Bible study for a, a homeless um, property. And we've been trying to, you know, just share God's word with people. Amen. Amen. That holistic approach. I love it. And finally, Charles and Sandra, um, you know, if there's someone out there that's feeling a call to ministry or has been serving in their church and they're looking for new opportunities, why should other people choose Volunteers of America to volunteer or to become a minister? Well, Volunteers of America offers a lot of services. They provide, they provide counseling services. They provide you know, homes for people to live in. And this is a, it's a holistic approach. So wherever your ministry is, wherever your heart is, you can find a place in VOA to fit into that. And the other thing is ministry for me is just fulfilling. It's humbling. It helps me to understand that there's so many things bigger than I am. God is so much bigger yes. than I am. And he is yes. able to use me and anybody else for his purposes. Amen. Preach, preacher. All right. And Sandra, is there something you would like to add to folks that might be thinking about joining VOA ministry team? 
we are all called to be servants of God. And if you want to serve, Volunteers of America is the place for you. Amen. Well, out there, wherever you are, whoever you are, if you have a desire to join the ministry team, if you've never served anywhere, or if you're ordained and licensed already, we would love to have a conversation with you about joining the Volunteers of America, Chesapeake and the Carolinas ministry team. Talk to you soon. <laughs>